Hi, this is Serpent Stair, this is Gizmos and Gadgets, and we're about to build a sail plane. But first, let's see what else we can find. Rate of climb indicator? Do we already have one of those? Yep, yes we do. Ooh, is this a variometer? No, it's an altimeter. Altimeter? Altimeter? Altimeter. Or altimeter. I'm not sure how that's pronounced. Another one! Variometer? Yes! Okay, so all of the instruments were just sitting around in this this hallway. Green paint. I've already painted my thing yellow. I don't think I want it to be green. Large large fuselage. That might be interesting just just for giggles, I guess, to take a look at it. Okay. Um I don't want the green paint. Just in case I accidentally use it and then I can't turn it yellow again because I threw that out. It's happened. Not while I've been recording for you guys, but it's happened. Yes, I actually play this on my own time. <laughs> because clearly I have no better way to spend my time. Okay, what's over here? Huh. Stars and stripes deckle. Again, I am not American. But that's okay. Shoot the basketball into the flashing hole using the red lamp. Ramp. It is not a lamp. Shoot it into the hole using a lamp. Good luck with that. There was a chimp there. But he was too late. So, very out and this is the, uh, big fat chunky fuselage. I mean, even this doesn't look that bad, right? Um, but it's not nearly so svelte as the one that we have installed. The second best airfoil. Basic controls. Uh, sure, let's put a falcon on there just for kicks. And go see if this is enough to beat Morty. And since the sailplanes not have engines, uh, they are pulled into the sky by other planes. And looks like we were able to beat them. There's aircraft race 2 complete. Yeah, we're still a scientist. Continue on. Next level. Okay. Propeller-driven airplane. Now we've actually got an engine to deal with. And a tail, and a cockpit, and a propeller, a landing gear, wing. Uh, we actually don't have to deal with the airfoil anymore, imagine that. Landing gear. Retractable landing gear is what we want. Propeller. The propeller uses engine power and blades to push the air and create thrust. The more thrust there is, the faster your airplane can go. A propeller with three blades make m makes more thrust than a propeller with two blades. A propeller that can control the angle of the blades and has a spinner to reduce bla drag will make the most thrust. So, three blades, a pro uh, control of the angle, and a spinner to reduce drag. The cockpit. The cockpit is where the pilot sits. The less drag the cockpit makes, the faster your airplane can fly. An enclosed cockpit creates less drag than an open, open cockpit. The sharper the angle the cockpit makes to the tail, the more drag there is, so we want a gradual angle if possible. The tail boom and tail help you control your airplane. The less drag they create, the faster you can go, the sharper the curve that connects the tail to the tail boom, the more drag there is. A sharp angle means there is no curve and creates the most drag. The fastest airplane will have a gradual curve from the tail to the tail boom. So, gradual curve from the cockpit to the tail and up to the tail boom, which I p presume is this part. Flaps. The flaps are at the back of the wing. These would be the controls from the last one. They rotate down to increase lift for takeoff and landing. Fowler flaps create the least amount of drags and help your plane grow fa- <laughs> Goodness, I'm just spoonerizing everything. Fowler flaps create the least amount of drag and help your plane go faster. Flaps that make a slot create less drag than flaps that split from the bottom of the wing. Flaps that only rotate create the most drag. So we want Fowler flaps in any case. The wing! The shape of the wing will affect how much drag there is. Da -da 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 -da. Straight, constant wing creates the most drag. A wing that is fully tapered creates less drag than a partially tapered wing. The wing with the least amount of drag is an elliptical wing, which will uh, make an arc, basically. 
We already know about the landing gear. We want elliptical wing, fowler flaps, gradual curves on the cockpit and tail, and enclosed cockpit uh, instruments. The best radios use signals from satellites in a global positioning system, or GPS. Do the most basic cockpit has only a compass. Radios are good, so yeah, we want the GPS, which is the best radio. The engines available to you are 400 horsepower engines. All of them. When your airplane is in the air, there is less oxygen, so the engine needs to work harder to create 400 horsepower. Fuel injection will help your plane go fast, but an engine with a turbocharger will make the plane go fastest. The shape of the engine also affects the speed of your airplane. Flat engines will make your plane go faster than round engines will. So, if possible, we want a flat engine with a turbocharger. Let's, uh, hit the warehouse, see what we can find. We're back here again. I can immediately put some chimps to sleep, get some parts that way. Oh good, I managed to get you before you went into your weird invincibility frame frames for hitting the wall. Come on, come on, let me pick up that box. Flap split from the bottom of the wall. Not exactly ideal. A round engine! That's probably the worst engine we could install. Okay, so 16, 46, 49, 49, um, that should be 49. I feel like I'm practicing up my math skills at least. Oh, open cockpit. Two main wheels and one small wheel at tail. tail section with a sharp curve. Oh, there's a lot of boxes over here. Flat engine with a turbocharger. Yay, we have our first perfect part. Oh, another engine. Flat engine with fuel injection. Couple good ones. Uh, three main wheels. Not particularly impressive. More boxes. A partially tapered wing. What was that? Controller, well, sorry, propeller with three controllable blades and a spinner. That's exactly what we want. That's what that is. Okay, so we have the perfect engine and the perfect motor already. And we have 15, uh, 31, 33. 33. Did I, like, skip all the other balance puzzles and it's just giving them all to me now or something? Flat engine with a turbocharger, that's the one we want. It looks kind of like a, an organ inside a rib cage to me. Fuel injection. Already got our engine. We don't want that cockpit. Uh, we don't really want any of these wheels. I'm just throwing it out. That's a sharp curve. Uh -huh. Partially tapered wings. This is what they look like, folks. I guess they kind of get narrower near the near the front. Okay. So there's the propeller attached to the engine. We've got the uh <laughs> the, the 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 thrust part. We've got the thrust part down. Okay. I don't think there was anything at that door, so we won't bother going in there. Let's just head right up to the top again and loot that one very, very lucrative hallway. Tractable landing gear. Sweet. GPS radio. I think that's worth going back down to the workshop. <laughs> oh. Nope. Oh. Nope. Have to go all the way to the bottom, Super Solver. Come on. Okay. Retractable landing gear is exactly what we want. The GPS radio system. Global positioning GPS radio system. GPS, well, it is a radio system, so I guess that's right. Whoa! He almost snuck up on me there. Recycle mm. part. Permit it. Now uh, let's run up to the to the top, and maybe I, I guess we'll just run up to the top, and we'll go through this door next time. Come back for more gizmos and gadgets with me, Serpent Stare.
thank you. Have a good night.